with the new 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro, Apple has kindly given us back a bit of variety with ports, and amongst them is an SD card slot. Now, if like me, you work in photography or video, you probably use SD cards. So having a card reader on board is a welcome return. Uh, the question is, how well does it perform? Are we able to leave our external card readers at home? Let's find out. So I've got two SD card readers here, uh, both are UHS Type 2 capable, just like the reader in the new MacBook Pro. And I've got two SD cards here, both are 128 gigabytes in capacity, uh, but one is the older and slower Type 1 card, and the other is a faster Type 2 card. Now I'm going to use Blackmagic Disk Speed Test to assess the sequential read and write performance of the cards with these various readers. And then I'm going to do a timed transfer of a folder of mixed files. And that should give us an idea of the performance of the card readers as they compare to each other, and see how good the one in the MacBook Pro really is. Of course, SD cards vary enormously in the speeds that they offer, so just to reiterate, this test is not about the cards themselves, it's about the readers. Now before we start, I have noticed some performance lag when using the reader in the MacBook Pro. It seems to be okay when copying files across, but if you try to open individual files from the SD card, it sometimes seems to take a little while. And occasionally it takes a long time to show all the thumbnail previews in the Finder window. And I've never noticed this sort of behavior when using my external card reader. So I'd be interested to know if any of you out there have seen this same behavior on your MacBook Pro. But let's get started with a speed test of the internal card reader. And the first card we're gonna use is this SanDisk Extreme Pro. It's a UHS Type 1 V30 rated card. Uh, now SanDisk actually claim that this can perform at up to 170 megabytes per second, but uh, this isn't completely honest as you've got to use a specific SanDisk branded reader to achieve that. And in my previous testing, I found it to be exactly the same performance as the cards with 95 megabytes per second on them. Now, in case you're not familiar with the speed ratings on SD cards, V30 means that this card can support at minimum uh, a continuous recording of a video file at 30 megabytes per second speed. Uh, just to confuse matters, cameras typically report their codecs in megabits per second, not megabytes. There are eight bits in a byte, so we times 30 by eight, and this card should support a codec of 240 megabits per second. That's the minimum rate. Uh, in real life, it'll probably actually support a higher speed than that, but that's the minimum rating for the card. Uh, type 2 cards can go up to V60, which is 60 megabytes per second, or V90, which is 90 megabytes per second. So hopefully that helps you to understand the difference between these cards. So I'm running Blackmagic Disk Speed Test with a one gigabyte stress setting, and I'm going to take the average of five runs. And the result with the internal card reader and this uh, Type 1 card is 67 megabytes per second on write performance and 89 on read. I noticed some fluctuation in the write performance, but the read speeds were very stable. Now let's put this same card into the SanDisk Extreme Pro card reader. This has been my go-to reader for the past couple of years. It's got a USB Type-C connector, and it's small and light enough to chuck into any bag. I've always been pleased with the performance of this device, and it's available for less than £25 or $25. And if we put this same Type 1 card into this reader, we get these results. 76 megabytes per second on write, and 90 on read, uh, which turns out to be about 13% faster than the internal reader on the MacBook Pro for writing, and just 1% better on read performance. Well, that's pretty interesting, but let's not draw any conclusions yet. Let's try this other external reader. Uh, this is the Driver Genius HB081. And full disclosure, Driver Genius sent this over to me without charge for review. Uh, and I accepted it on the basis that I retain full editorial control, and I'm free to give you my honest opinion. Uh, so this is a USB-C reader, which supports UHS Type 2 cards. It's a little bit bigger than the SanDisk device, but it has slots for both SD cards and micro SD cards. And that means that you don't need to carry around a micro SD adapter card with you. I really like the fact that the slot itself is latching. I do like a latching slot. Uh, the other slot on the reader here is for CFast 2.0 cards. Now, I don't personally use CFast cards, uh, but I do know that the readers can be quite pricey. But this multi-reader, you can pick this up for £29 or $36 on Amazon. Uh, so let's see how it compares with this same UHS Type 1 card. And we get 76 megabytes per second on write and 89 on read. 
Now I'm rounding the results to the nearest megabyte here, and what we find is the Driver Genius reader was just slightly behind the SanDisk on both numbers, and slightly behind the internal MacBook Pro reader for read performance. Uh, but it's still a 12% improvement over the MacBook Pro for writing. Now, of course, when you consider the normal use case for SD cards, read performance is the more important number because normally you're reading data from the card and copying it to your computer. So it seems like the MacBook Pro reader might be a little slow when it comes to writing to a UHS Type 1 card, uh, but it offers comparable performance on read, and that's probably all we care about. Uh, but let's try this integral UHS Type 2 card. It's a V60 rated card, so by no means the fastest on the market. Uh, but the MacBook Pro scores 145 megabytes per second on write and 169 on read. And let's see how that compares to the SanDisk reader. With the same card, it manages 142 megabytes per second on write, but 213 on read. And that's a whopping 33.5% improvement. And remember that I'm doing an average of five runs. And I actually did several runs before the time section, and I did several runs afterwards to double check the results. Now, what about this uh, Driver Genius reader? Well, that also managed 142 megabytes per second on write, but it gets 223 on read. So that's 39.6% faster than the MacBook Pro's reader, and it's 5% faster than this SanDisk reader. Just for completeness, I also did a copy test using a folder containing 10 files. Uh, there were some raw photo files, some JPEGs, and a couple of large movie files. The total size is 3.81 gigabytes. And I broke out the trusty Stopwatch app to time the copy, uh, both reading from the SD card and writing back to it. So here are all the results for that Type 1 card. Uh, basically, we see the same performance across the board on all the readers uh, within a margin of error. But for the Type 2 card, the MacBook Pro is again lagging behind by around 40% compared to these external readers. Now, wouldn't you really expect the internal reader on the £3,000 MacBook Pro to perform better than an external reader, especially one costing less than £30? Uh, I would have thought so, but maybe I need to do some more testing with different cards. Uh, if you do any tests yourself, please share the results in the comments section. And this brings us to a conclusion. The SD card reader on the MacBook Pro is comparable to an external reader for UHS Type 1 cards, and that isn't much of a surprise, but I will confess I expected it to do better on Type 2 cards. 40% is enough of a performance difference to make me want to continue using my external reader in those cases. Uh, imagine a shoot where you've got a large amount of data to copy off the cards. 40% can represent a huge time saving. Uh, and if you are in the market for an external reader, this model from Driver Genius looks like a pretty solid purchase. Uh, speaking of solid, uh, the case is made of metal. I really like the captive cable. It's just one less thing to worry about putting in the bag. And support for the three different card types is useful. As we've seen, performance looks really good, so links in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. Uh, that's it for this video. Please consider supporting the channel and help us with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, you can do this by sharing this content, subscribing and giving us a like or a dislike. I look forward to reading all those comments and I'll see you again soon for some more geekery.